So for today, we're going to be looking at the streetwear armor set specifically. We're going to be looking at the pieces. I've made sets using the pieces of the streetwear armor set and these came out really, really good. This is not a review of the armor set, nor is it a tutorial on how to get it. If you guys want to see that video, I'll have it in the comments below and in the description. That video will actually tell you how to get the armor set and my thoughts on the armor set if you are curious. So, before we get started, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, it really does help the channel grow. Not only that, but a large portion of people that come to my channel are not subscribed, so if you can do me a favor and subscribe. If you don't like me within a, a month, then you guys can unsubscribe. It doesn't really hurt you at all. So, other than that, let's just get started. So, to start off with, this is my Hunter. Uh, I love how my Hunter came out, if I'm being quite honest. I will say there's another shader that goes really well with this whole set because of the chrome here, but we'll get to that at the end. Let's just get right into the armor set of Val K. That's weird. Valor overflowing. <laughs> uh, for the helmet, we are using the Katorier mask. Uh, you've probably never seen me wear this because I'm not a big fan of it, but I really, really like how it came out with this set because of the hood, which we'll get to. The arms and the chest piece, we are using the streetwear armor specifically because I feel like if you wear one piece, you have to wear the other specifically for the arms and the chest piece, because if you don't, then you get this really weird gap in the arms, which is fine if you're wearing, you know, any other chest piece. But if you're trying to wear something that looks like a hoodie, then this is definitely weird. So that's why I'm using this one because it it's matching the bagginess of the hoodie or of the chest piece. For the boots, we have the Lux Riders. This is definitely one of my favorite ones in the game for boots. Uh, you could also use other ones as well. You could use the Couturier slacks. I'm not a big fan of it, but you could. Uh, another good one is the Vanguard Dare boots. This one would be really cool. Uh, and then you could also do the outline. Out Outlanders steps or the Wildwood strides. Uh, just be aware that these do taper at the at the top of this right here at your waist, so they might look a little weird, but that's also an option. And last but not least, we have the Renegade hood, which definitely makes this look really cool because it gives a gives the hunter a scarf, which looks really cool. Uh, as for the shader that I was talking about, you could if you don't like this look and you want to match with the chrome at the boots you could definitely use this shader over here which is the iron bone from season of menagerie unfortunately you can't get this one anymore so if you don't have it I'm, I'm sorry but i would probably just change the helmet to the refugee mask and then do this because the these two right here match the chrome right here uh, it's one of those situations where if you if you know then you know so it would be more of a if if a, if a hunter if a guardian knew that oh you're using the iron bone shader which means that the the plate in the back here and like any plate you wear is gonna have chrome and at that point you probably would want to wear something to showcase a little bit of the chrome at least so that way people can immediately make that contact but yeah that's pretty much it I really like this uh, this look that I made so much so that I actually made a look for it. So this is actually how my hunter is looking currently, and I love it. This looks super cool in my head. Uh, I knew the moment that I saw the hoodie, I was thinking about wearing it with my with my stompies, with this one specifically, and I think it came out really well. Let me know what you guys think, hunters. Let me know what y'all think. I think it came out really well. Uh, so let's get on to the Titan. So this is the Titan. She looks really, really cool. A lot of pieces or just one piece that I ra rarely ever use and then like one piece that I always wear. So for the helmet, we are using the Cortorier uh, or helm, which is funny because my hunter is also wearing one. But the reason I chose this one is because I was not the biggest fan of this one for some reason. The helmet in, it, at the top just is too wide for everything else. Kind of like has this weird shape like this right here. So that's why I switched to this one because it doesn't have that problem. And the helmet's not like wide at the top. It looks perfectly fine to me. For the arms, we're using the Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets. I crutch on these a lot when I'm doing a no armor look 
because I just love how they look. I personally love it. Although this one's actually not that bad. This one looks okay. Another one that looks pretty fire is this one. This one looks pretty good as well, if I'm being quite honest. But it's up to you, honestly, if you want to wear it or not. For the chess piece, we are using the ring walker, which is a streetwear armor set. And this one kind of like threw me off a left uh, curve because I was not expecting to use a chess piece. Uh, if you guys have watched the review for this armor set, again, in the comments or in the description, you guys will know that I was talking to him a lot of shit about this chess piece, mostly because of the buttons. I feel like I felt like the buttons was going to take away too much from like the shader and just kind of be distracting. But I think it came out really well. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Don't get me wrong. It's still a little distracting, but I think it gives it the chess piece a lot more character. The boots is the Lost Pacifica Greaves, which is unfortunately unobtainable, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong on that, um, but it's from Titan, a planet that we used to have. So that's why I say it's not obtainable anymore. Although it might be in the whirlpool, I might never know. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite boots. And for the mark, we are using the Lux mark. Uh, overall, this is like easily another good set for the Titans that I love that I came up with. It looks really cool. Uh, the funny thing is, originally I was thinking about doing the the arms with it because I have an, a look that I'm trying to do, which is uh, this right here. I love that the crystals here match the crystal here, although there's a lot of white in the helmet. I don't know why, but when you look at it up close, you can actually see it's like, oh, well, the purples are, are lining up a little bit better, although this is a much more vibrant purple than this one, so I may have to just find another shader. But that is a, a look I'm trying to currently make, and it's it's rough. I don't think there's other crystal pieces, so this actually might just be the it. But yeah, let me know, Titans, what you guys think. I definitely love this look. Uh, I think the the weakest portion might be the fact that the shader just makes it could like kind of like look kind of boring so at that point I would probably wear something else because if I remember correctly I was wearing this and I was just like I don't know if I want to wear the shader or not so yeah let me know what you guys think Titans let me know what you guys think I just don't know what I, what shader I would use but I'm gonna stick with this one because I really like this shader so Next up is the Warlock, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And last but not least, we have my Warlock, which I absolutely love how she came out. I think she is probably the best, mostly because I had a theme that I wanted to go, wanted to go with my Warlock, and that was basically uh, something like a supervillain. Uh, so for the helmet, we're using, obviously, the Street Scholar uh, look, which... I love the helmet, but for some reason, the helmet reminded me like of like a villain. Like for me, it reminded me of uh, Skullface from uh, or whatever is Red Skull. There we go. Red Skull from Captain America. And immediately I was like, bro, what if I could make a like super villain that has like the very military, a militaristic look? And I love it. Like she she looks absolutely amazing i love it so let's get right into it the helmet obviously i've already said this is the streetwear helmet uh the arms so the big reason why i went with green was because the arms so the arm has this green plate here that i'm not the biggest fan of but the reason i'm using the shader is because of the weird like cream color so as, as you guys can see, it's more of an off-white maybe. I think it's more cream. So the reason I went with this is because I wanted to match the fur up here. Now, granted, when you look it up close, this does look a lot more white than here. But when you look back at like this, then it's like, oh, it looks it looks almost close here. So that's why I chose uh, these arms. The chess piece is the valkyrian robes i've never seen anyone rock the valkyrian robes and i decided to use it and i'm very happy i did because i love how this looks uh boots are the Braytech tech researchers boots these are really good uh if i'm being quite honest boots doesn't really matter at the end of the day because again uh you'll never see the boots aside from this little window right here 
And last but not least, we have the mark or the a lack of one, if I'm being quite honest. The reason I didn't want a mark is because I didn't want them or the bond. I keep I can always say mark for a bond. Uh, I, the reason I didn't use a bond is because I didn't want the bond to take away from everything that I want. So I want people to like really just go through their eye, like just wander with their eyes like notice oh shit the fur here and the fur here are actually matching the helmet looks very like evil almost like like he, he's she's gonna order her soldiers to shoot some civilians or something uh it just looks very very much in that aspect and i love it uh so i didn't want to use anything too like a uh, garish or whatever i didn't want to use anything too crazy because like something like this just doesn't make sense to me uh i could probably do something like very basic if i'm being honest like something like this or this one or this one no not that one uh this one actually probably would have been okay as well it's just that again i didn't want i didn't want the bond to take away from everything else so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on the social media outlets, links in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I really would appreciate it. And I will probably be doing a little bit more, or I will be doing a lot more armor pieces because there's a bunch of armor sets in, the, in this uh, DLC. But I will be doing another streetwear armor set because I didn't use the chest piece, which I definitely do want to use. And I will probably use it with this helmet over here now that I think about it. Something like this. So, yeah, I, I'm very much happy. Not only that, I'm going to be covering more than just fashion. I That's what I was doing before I started covering fashion. Uh, this week, we'll be covering the new weapons that the DLC introduced. So, the activity weapons, the dungeon weapons, the exotics... Not only that, we're gonna be going through some tutorials to like how to do the do how to do the activity, uh, how to do the dungeon, how to solo flawless the dungeon, a lot of things, guys. So if you like Destiny and you like doing pretty much everything in Destiny 2, you might as well subscribe because I cover a lot of Destiny 2. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.